Yes, to the year, and it is time for the second coding challenge. I got a, I got a doozy for you guys today. So we're gonna. The, the story is we're working at the uh, the atomic dildo factory, and uh, so you got a big a big barrel of dildos, a big vat of dildos. All right, and your job is to reduce the number of dildos down to one. Now you've got three operations that you can perform. You can add a dildo you can remove a dildo and you can also divide the number of dildos by two so you can split the dildos now the problem with splitting dildos is let's say you've got five dildos and you split those dildos the result is gonna be 2.5 you're gonna you're gonna cut one dildo in half and these are atomic dildos let me remind you this will cause a nuclear catastrophe so you can only split the dildos if the number of dildos is even otherwise no splitting allowed so for this task I'm gonna give you a number it's gonna be the number of dildos let's say I give you the number three and your job is to tell me the minimum number of operations that are required to reduce this down to one dildo so for example for three you could go about it a bunch of different ways you could add one so that would be four then you can divide by two that would be two and then you can divide by two that would be one. The other way you could do it is you could subtract one, that would be two, divide by two, that would be one. Obviously, this one is shorter. So this would require one, two operations to reduce down to a single dildo. Uh, so I give you a number, you tell me the number of operations required to reduce it to one. Now the rules are, I'm gonna require a source code submission here for correct answers. So I'm gonna give you a text file, number.txt, it will contain a single number. You will PM me with the answer on the forum. Uh, your PM will contain the answer and it will also contain a zip of your source code. Now the source code has to be in C++ for this one. So any other languages, they will not be uh, graded. The rules are no third party libraries. Uh, you can't use like things like Boost or whatever, not allowed. Only stuff that comes with the compiler. Also, no .NET. So .NET, out of it. We have to assume be compiled with Microsoft Visual C++ because that's what I use to compile. I want to make it clear that there's no third party allowed, no .NET allowed, but you're not limited only to the standard library. You can use things outside of the standard library. It just has to be something that came with the compiler and it's not allowed to be .NET. Now the way I am going to score this is for the first 48 hours, all entries will be treated equally. So you will not get any advantage by submitting earlier or later within the first 48 hours. And the winner will be the most performant. So the fastest code wins. Uh, within the first 48 hours. If there are no correct submissions within 48 hours, after that point, the first correct answer wins. So the first correct code basically will win after 48 hours. In the description, there's gonna be a link to the forum page where you can download this file and it will also contain information about the coding challenge. If there are any changes, any updates, they will be located there. So make sure to check that page. If you wanna ask any questions, you ask it on that thread. And I think that's about it. Um, unless I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, I just want to let you know the number is going to be about seven thousand digits long. Enjoy.